Hello and welcome to tutorial 136. A Goldpass member asked if uh, I could produce some sort of demonstration about using third-party data, which this is. What we're going to do is save some data from a chart and then bring that back in as, um, as our own saved data. Now, I'm also going to include a link to a video that TradeStation did, which is very comprehensive, and also a web page because one of the things about this third part, using third-party data is that TradeStation is, is incredibly fussy about formatting and uh, you could look through this page and this will give you some more detail of uh, how you're supposed to format the titles how you you can format the dates and uh, times etc but uh, what we're going to do in this video is as I say just save some data and bring it back what I'll do in, a, in another video is also demonstrate using data from someone such as Yahoo and um, that's also included in the TradeStation video so this is quite simple to do first of all let's just have a look at the symbol that we have on the chart at the moment so this is e-mini tick one tick got this set to exchange and I've got this set to yesterday's date and let's just have a look at the properties so obviously this is the future we're using exchange time and uh, the price scale and min move and big point value are those so let's go to the chart what well, I've got a place here where I'm saving information what I'm going to do is just clear that out so that's empty and I'm going to go view data window and I'm going to save the information and we'll save it, we'll just call it uh, at ESTCK and we'll save it. So let's just have a look at the data just so that we can check the format. And if we double click on that, it's gonna open up in Notebook. Okay, so you can see the format we've got here, the format that's been created by TradeStation and that should be okay for the input. So let's uh, go to the chart and we're gonna go format. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's go format, symbol and we want to go to settings, look up, then click on the third party tab. Now, what I've done is set up a directory here where I'm going to be storing this data. And we do that just using the add somewhere on your computer. And the program is finding the file that we've just created. So I'm going to say OK there and uh, make sure the settings are correct. So it's one tick and exchange and two bar two days back going back to the fourth which is yesterday I'm going to say okay and then we get this little dialogue just to check our formats and it's saying what are we using as the date separator gives us a few choices there but i'm just using the slash and we're using month month day day year year just ignore that then next uh, we need to give this a name, so we'll call it uh, ES tick data, and uh, it's a future. It's uh, on the CME, and uh, remember the numbers we looked at. Just going to put those back in here, and these this is information that you can actually access from your program. So I'm going to say next, and we need to get the uh, the sessions. Okay, so the uh, the session for this is five to four, at least a regular session. So I'm going to put that same information here. Okay, and it's Sunday through Friday, say so next. Now we're saving these settings in a particular file, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, note the name of the symbol here, which we can reuse if we wish to. And what I'm gonna do is just let this load and then we'll just compare it with the, the, the original data and just make sure that they tie up okay so let's just uh, arrange these horizontally if you look you can see just from the shape i think that the information is uh, identical but if we would just go over here we'll see um, for example the first bar two uh, it's a little difficult two nine ten fifty and two up volume two nine ten fifty and two up volume and so on so uh, so there there you have saving the the data for uh, a symbol that we've also got on the chart now what's sort of really good about this is what we can also do is for example we've got this tick data we could now say okay uh, what I want to do is use the data that I've saved to create a two minute chart or a three minute chart so let's just do that and there we have um, that data and what we could do and this is going back to the the fourth is insert another symbol and this time we could just insert the e-mini itself and plot that on the same chart as we have the data that we've created from our tick chart so let's just see 
what we get here. And uh, yeah, apart from the uh, scale slightly different, you can see that it's the identical data. So I hope you'll find this useful. I just would stress that uh, it's very important to get the formatting and it's very important to uh, set up those dialogues when you first try and open it on a chart. Otherwise you will get a very unhelpful uh, system message saying that you can't, there is no data or something of, uh, su such as that. Anyway, the next video I'm going to do an import from Yahoo, which is a little more involved, but uh, I'll see you in that video. Thank you.